Hello again, fellow preppers. Adam is going to explain how we're building our predator-proof chicken run. As I mentioned in the article, we're using chicken wire because our daytime predators here are not that much of an issue other than hawks. If you live somewhere where you have bears or a lot of coyotes running around, even during the day, you're going to need a hardware cloth the whole way through, which is going to increase the price of your run. But for our purposes and what has worked in the past, chicken wire is fine for a daytime only run. Now, hush that. Adam, can you explain what we're doing here to make sure that nothing gets in here as much as humanly possible? What we're doing is digging a trench down underneath, and then we're taking a hardware cloth and cutting it around the perch and laying it down in there. That way it lays flush and kind of goes up on the embankments. That way when they get to digging, they hit that hardware cloth and stop. Okay, can you point out the different parts to it? You have to talk a little bit louder of the ducks, I think. So point out exactly how we constructed this. With digging the trench, folding it up this way and up that way, and increases the pretty much the safety of the animals because having it like that whenever they go to dig and they're going to dig close they're not going to dig far out so when they go to dig and they hit that with it being scooped up they'll dig back and hit it again they'll hit the board and again on the, on the yep. inside once we're done we're going to lay some more hardware cloth in the interior to extend out the printer protection and we're going to cover all of it with dirt and pack it down tight and the board we put on there is extra security to not just keep the hardware cloth in place, but it's a great time saver. If the board wasn't there, we would have to wire about every inch and a half the chicken wire sides to the hardware cloth bottom, which can cause the hardware cloth to pull up, which you don't want. And it's tedious, backbreaking work. This run is about 12 by 22. That would be over two hours worth of work for two people. So with the board, Adam can staple the chicken wire into the uh, frame boards and that's going to make it much quicker and at least as durable if not more so now adam tell us how you secured the frame board to the t-post uh, with securing the boards to it i used plumber's tape and wrapped it around the post and screwed it into the board that way it pulled tight and it pulls them together and holds them in one solid place so the board's not going to shift for somebody no. who's new to this plumber's tape would just be uh like a thin flexible metal yeah and on the top, we're going to use chicken wire and double um, draped bird netting, which will keep out the hawks. And we're going to move our old coop door onto this one, which has hardware cloth and chicken wire on each side. Hardware cloth in the middle to wrap around the post for extra security and a two-step lock to make sure that a raccoon cannot climb up and get in it.